All right, so if it looks like I just woke up, that's because I did. Um, anyway, for about two years now, I have been living here in my van full time in a city. And I always wanted to make a video just about that, about, you know, piece of advice, tips, and my experience on how I managed to do that, uh, to live full time in a van in a city. And uh, I'm recording that video today. Uh, I'm actually heading out to work first, still have to do some stuff. Uh, so I'm actually taking you with me so you can even see how my kind of, you know, how day to day kind of living in a van kind of looks like. And then when I'm actually back, I will dive in more details on, yeah, show you around actually in my van and uh, just uh, share in more detail everything that I, you know, on tips and advice and, and living in a van full time. Uh, but let's head first out. There's no lights on, so it's probably uh, probably no one is inside. Uh, it's Saturday, so yeah. Ugh. Yeah, it looks really empty today. But it's kind of what you can expect on a Saturday. Let's just turn the lights on. So this is the co-working place Humji. Um, yeah, it's a cool co-working place in Antwerp. They have two locations uh, and they're even working on a third one. Uh, so it's all in the same subscription. If you're ever in Antwerp or in Belgium, because they're in multiple or they're planning to be in multiple cities, then uh, check them out uh, and let me know. Alright, I'm actually gonna go and eat something. You know what, since I'm here, uh, I thought it would be a fun idea to just show you around in the co-working place Humji here in Antwerp. Uh, I've been going to this co-working place now for, well, about two years and it's an awesome co-working place. Uh, so I just want to show you around. Um, to introduce you to the concept of a co-working place if you don't know what it is or to just show you on what the possibilities are of co-working places because there's so many awesome ones. Most co-working places, you know, have a community so they try to do events. They have here afterworks every Friday and other events happening regularly. It's been an awesome investment in many ways, <laughs> but for sure because I live in a van, it's been an amazing investment. So let me show you around. So this is just the big uh, table here <laughs> uh, at the top floor. It's the chill room. This is mainly, you know, the area where the afterworks happen. And I don't know, any parties or so. Here is another kind of chill space with a chessboard. Lockers. Here they have a sharing fridge with just some things that anyone can take. And this is more like a personal fridge where you can store food. Some more desks, private office that you can rent. And on top of there is another private office. Let me just show that. Um, this one is rented out. There is a meeting room. If we go down, they actually have a Skype booth. Uh, and then this area here, which is a very nice one, kind of like uh, where you can take coffee. Uh, they always have free fruits and muesli. Oh, 
All right, think I'm done for today. All right, let me, you know, show you first just a tour through my van. I first have to add, if you didn't already, you know, got that, uh, this is, I mean, I did not build this van, right? I bought it like this. The main reason why I just want to show you around is because I, I mean, I still bought it this one for reasons how it was designed, how it was engineered. Uh, I think the whole, you know, design of everything is amazing in this van. It's perfect van, I would say, for living very comfortable in. While at the same time, it's not really big, you know, that it's still, you can hide it in a way in a city. You can park it in a city. Uh, it's, yeah, still very, you know, you can still drive very easily anywhere with it. So let me show you around. Nice kitchen here uh, with some great fire, great sink. Nice, you know, drawers, basic stuff in there. Cooking gear, got some, uh, yep, cocktail stuff here. I can actually extend that table to make it even longer. Uh, which is really awesome and I can also make a third bed out of this. I can put this lower so I can actually take this out and then uh, make because I, if I turn the chair there like this one then I can actually make a third bed out of it. We have the fridge which is almost just empty just have water bottles and I got some food in there. <laughs> the master bedroom you know also really really big storage rooms uh completely empty <laughs> most of the time i put my climbing gear in there and hiking gear but right now empty here is mostly when i just put my underwear and socks here i keep t-shirts and pullovers and then here i just have some uh board games this is actually fully equipped like I have a shower in here. I can actually take this. Uh, so I can put this up here and uh, then I actually have a shower. Uh, there is also this here so I can turn this around me and I have a heating system so I can warm up the water. Simple, just like normal toilets. Uh, and the uh, cool thing is as well that I can actually do this and then I just have a lot more space actually to uh, to kind of walk around in here and uh, to do all my beauty things. Uh, that's yeah, <laughs> the tour of my van. Let me now actually go over to some often asked questions that I've gotten. All right, so the first one that is, I mean, that I get all the time when people know or find out or when I tell them is uh, just why, you know, why I live in a van. And there's actually quite a lot of reasons why I decided to do that. Uh, two years ago, I had an apartment actually here in Antwerp for a year, but I just didn't really see the point in it because when I thought back about it, like uh, when the contract ended, I was always out of my apartment doing things, uh, working from another place, from a coffee place or from the co-working place where I'm working in right now. I only basically, you know, went to the apartment to sleep, you know, and to take a shower and that was it mainly. Uh, and then I was like, all right, this doesn't make sense, you know, in a way to get an apartment to pay, you know, that amount of money every month to just have a bed. And I had this car, like uh, I have this car already now for about five years. So I was like, you know, let me just go and try to figure it out to 
live full time with this car in a city. And then I started doing that and I have not regretted it at all. Then there's other reasons of course like just sometimes I find it a little bit too easy to live in a city and this is a very luxurious problem that I'm talking about right now. I just like to have a little bit of a challenge in life and you know it's kind of easy to just have an apartment and to just you know everything is there running water electricity heating that's just there here it isn't it's here but you have to also take care of it you also have to take care of the car like i have to check the water tank i have to check the home battery um and the heating i have to also check of course uh and i have to maintain it more you know, um, I can't leave my lights on the whole time because then the home battery will run out and that's not good. Uh, I can't spill water the whole time because then I have no water anymore and then I have to go and refill my water tank. Uh, and I can't just have the heating on the whole time because then my gas tank is empty and then I have to go and, you know, get some gas. And not those are not difficult things, of course, but I just have to be more mindful. And I kind of like that. It's a little bit more challenging. So that's honestly also a reason. I think it's a bit more difficult to live in a van in a city than it would be to just live in, a, in an apartment. And I like that. You know, the freedom, the freedom that it gives. Like if I, because I have multiple locations where I sort of stay in Antwerp. If I'm kind of tired of this one, I move to another one. Uh, and if I'm tired of that one, I move to another one. Like if the neighbors are noisy here, I just draw drive my car to the other place where it's likely to be quiet and I sleep there. You don't have that possibility in an apartment. You're stuck in that building or you're stuck until your time is out or the contract ended, right? Or when I'm going on a vacation, you know, I can take my home with me to that vacation I drive to there uh, or when I'm you know going with a plane somewhere I'm not paying anything more for, for having this car I just leave it at my parents place and it's just standing there uh, not costing any money with an apartment if you would go for a month away you still pay you know the monthly rent yeah it just gives freedom and flexibility that you don't really have with an apartment so that was also another reason so i love the fact that i have everything in reach here like uh if i want to go to the toilet it's just a few steps away <laughs> If I want to cook, I just have to reach to there and I am at the kitchen. It's super minimalistic. I can't add more furniture to this and I don't know, for me it gives kind of like a piece of quietness. I love that. It's super simple to live here and everything is already here. You know, the furniture are already here, they're in place. It's for someone who likes a minimalistic lifestyle, this is awesome. Like, this is awesome. This is probably the last uh, on the list of reasons, but for some it might be more the first one, but for me it's more the last, just that it's cheap. You know, I don't pay anything um, at all to live in the city. Uh, of course, sometimes I'm staying at a, um, a place like here where I'm staying right now. In the week, you have to pay like five euros per day. So mostly I stay in another, another location where it's free parking. Uh, but here in the weekends uh, and on Sunday, you know, it's free parking. In the weekends, it's only until 5 p.m. Uh, but I do like this area. It's next to a park, really quiet neighborhood. So sometimes I come here. The only thing that I kind of pay is my insurance for my car, right? So you could say that's sort of my... Uh, you know, if, if you would, because it's 900 euros, if you would subtract it to one month or, or to a month, how much that would be, it's 75 euros. So you could say that that's sort of my expense for living in a city. But I mean, even people who have a, an apartment also have a car most of the time and also have an insurance, though they'd be even way more. Um, but so yeah, it's cheap. You know, I have no monthly cost at all. 
it is super comfortable like it's literally a mini apartments on wheels like it has everything uh, the only thing that is a little bit less comfortable is in the winter when it's really cold the isolation is not super amazing in a car you know uh, so yeah in the winter it can be cold uh, but just have a lot of blankets yeah also the summer can be a little bit too hot but then you can just go and find you know a tree to stay under uh, so it, it's all all right in a way uh, apartments have that kind of problem sometimes too that it's too hot or too cold in them so and I also have a heating system so if I, it's really too cold I just uh, I just uh, enable that so often when I get that question I just simply say that I live in Antwerp you know and I do, I live in Antwerp. Most people don't have any additional questions to that. Maybe they might ask like where exactly in Antwerp, but then I just say one of the three places where I stay at. I don't really go much further than that unless I, you know, unless I might feel like they might understand or they might be interested in knowing this. Uh, but other than, otherwise, I don't really explain or say that I live in a van. Uh, I don't really care for other people to know about that. Um, I mean, I'm making a video on it, you know, more for people looking to know about it. For a lot of people, it might be kind of strange to do this, so I don't really want to explain that the whole time. So I just leave it at that. When they ask me where I live, I live in Antwerp. This is actually funny, because when we were, you know, in the early phases of first, like, dating, uh, we just kind of met each other. I took her out together with some friends and <laughs> one of my friends kind of randomly just said like, ah, how is, you know, how are you doing in your van? And she didn't, you know, connect or, or, or directly knew what the hell, like what he was talking about. So she kind of knew because of a friend that I lived in a van who kind of just threw it out there but then of course afterwards she asked me like what you know you live in a van and uh, then i told her like yeah yeah i like live in a van um but you know she's a very open-minded person she was like ah oh, right cool she's fine with it at least uh, so far that i can tell uh, of course not nothing is forever yeah i'm looking to uh, rent an apartment together now with my girlfriend we're in the process of finding one but i'm so happy that i did this you know and i also knew that the older you get the more restrictions you have in life and restrictions might sound negative but i don't per se mean it as a ne negative thing but the more things like having a girlfriend you know happens or or having children might happen or wanting to buy something you know wanting more space uh, those things i knew would happen you know when you get more older or might happen and they are happening right so i just took my chance two years ago when i didn't have any of those because i knew that when i was getting older those were going to happen and because of all the other reasons that I shared in the beginning as well uh, of why, you know, I thought it was awesome to go and live in a van. Have not regretted it at all, you know. It's awesome that I was able to do this for two years and it's awesome to move on to something else now as well. To mix things up here, let me, you know, stand here and talk about the last thing, uh, part here of this video that I wanted to talk about, which is more the van life you know and and give some tips and piece of advice mainly you know it's because i had the money and i didn't at the time to do it now i'm actually thinking about sort of i mean i have this wild fantasy of selling this one and using the money that i still can get from this one to buy a second hand car and to rebuild it. I think somewhere in the future I will actually do that. If I would actually ever come to build a van myself, um, there are two things that I would actually do differently. When I think about all the things that I use and that I don't use, I don't really use the, the fridge and the shower that often. Uh, and the shower kind of takes up a lot of space, you know, it's a whole other building here, another room 
that takes up a lot of space. Also, the fridge takes up a lot of space. I would still be able to live pretty comfortably in a city without those two. Uh, because, you know, the fridge, you could easily buy a cool box and run that on, you know, your, you know, on 12 volts on your, when you're driving or something, you can charge it that way. Uh, there, there's possibilities to have still a fridge, but have it even smaller. Also, like showering, you know, I mean, now with Corona, of course, it's a bit tricky, but normally Corona doesn't happen. Then it's pretty easy to go and shower in a gym or go to a swimming pool uh, that, yeah, it's easy to find a shower, actually. Also, a lot of camping places, I mean, almost all of them, have a shower. So, it's cool to have, but it's not really per se needed. There's a lot of alternative ways to go and still shower every day. It's truly the bed that you primarily need and a kitchen and a toilet. Like I would say those things. I already showed you some of it, but I now want to kind of explain it more in detail. Every city has multiple co-working places, like they're everywhere right now. And then I would say either have a foldable bike that you can put, you know, in your car or get a city bike. Like every city has city bikes or even the rental um, cars that every city these days start is starting to have. Um, or public transport, but I would just recommend to get a city bike. Then in terms of like showers and laundry, uh, you know, like a shower, uh, I mean, I have a shower in my car, but most of the times when Corona was not happening, I went uh, after, you know, two or three days uh, to the climbing gym, I climb a lot, and uh, yeah, went early to there, so there was no one there, had an early start of the day, you know, working out. So that's always nice to start the day off like that. And then I took a shower. My girlfriend has a place as well. So because of Corona, I sometimes went to her place to take a shower uh, when my water tank was almost empty or something. Um, and if you don't have a shower and Corona is happening or another pandemic or something else that, you know, requires uh, public places to close or, or places like gyms to close, then, uh, you know, meet people, make friends. You know, I have a lot of friends where I'm sure that I, I could have gone and taken a shower at their place if I asked them nicely. <laughs> and then laundry, that's super easy, right? The, every city has a, a laundry place, you know, nothing complex there and a dryer. Uh, so I've been doing that to just go to a laundry place and voila. I think it's just good to have that uh, for many reasons. How to find one is pretty easy. Just use Google Maps and yeah, just look at small neighborhoods away from a big street. You know, if you want to have something quiet, of course. And I would say also get more outside of the city center uh, where you have more like the quiet neighborhoods. And if you then have a city bike, it's so easy to go around, right? I was in Barcelona. Now, Barcelona is known for pickpocketing and, and being stolen, you know, break, you know, people breaking in your house or, or at least in your cars, uh, which happened. Uh, I was out and they broke in my car and they stole everything because uh, I was also for a while living with my car in Barcelona. Stole everything. My yeah, super expensive camera, my drone, um, lots, lots of things. Uh, yeah, it was not fun at all. From now on, I have the rule that whatever doesn't fit in my bag and that I can take with me of something expensive, right, does not enter my car. Of course, and I've been looking into that, you can buy a lock that you can put on the outside of your car. So like an extra lock. And also, you know, it's good to have like secret hidden areas where you put something expensive in. Uh, that's also something good to kind of build or look for if you've bought a van uh, to have. Uh, because most vans have that. My rule is that I take everything with me 
uh, I don't leave anything expensive in my car. You can do this boat with a van that you've built it, but it likely has, to, I mean, it has to look like a properly built van, I would say, uh, or with a van that you've bought. I, when I don't use my van, when I'm, you know, gone uh, in the winter, I did that in the past the whole time. So in the last two years, when I was out to, you know, Bali for some months, or, you know, sometimes in the summer when I'm on a vacation to somewhere and I'm not using my van, uh, I rent my van out. So there's a platform called Kobuni. I think they're worldwide, uh, but I use them to advertise my van on. You know, it's it's a it's a website like it's Airbnb for camper vans or for vans. I've been doing that for the last five years that I've been renting my car out. In the beginning, I did it way more than now. Uh, now I kind of maximally like rent it out twice. And mostly I rent it out for at least, I wanna go for a month. Cause there is a little bit of work involved, like you have to explain it to people. Uh, I mean, it's not complex, but I also don't really wanna get rid of my car. Uh, it's a little bit of a whole hassle to sometimes fit it in your own schedule when you're using it a lot. So I kinda wanted to have it like for a month, all right, uh, then it's worth it. Then you earn a lot of money. And during that month, you know, I try to plan a vacation to somewhere, for example, or I stay at a friend's place. But the idea why I wanted to do that was to kind of earn this van back by renting it out. And I'm pretty much on the way, almost, uh, that I almost earn it all the way back. When you are, you know, not using your car, put it on the platform, Kubuni. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's other platforms of it as well. So depending on where you are in the world, you have to look if that platform is available or if there's another one. That's been all that I actually wanted to share in this video on living in van for about two years. Often when we think about ways to live, we don't always know the full possibilities that there are. And living in a van full time in a city is a possibility if you have any extra or other questions you know about living in a van then go and ask them in the comment section down below also if you have any piece of advice if you live in a van uh, that you can share with other people then go and do that you know or if you have any piece of advice for me then uh, yeah I always love to receive comments in my videos